This is 14 year old Dana. I, she glue up. She glue up. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Dana DS, and today I'm gonna go to Cadets. And so get ready with me, or Smart Civvies Edition, because, because, yeah, why not? I go to Air Cadets, so Royal Air Force in the UK. I don't know what it's like in other countries, but in the UK we have Air Cadets, Sea Cadets, Army Cadets. The whole day I've just been in my, what's this called? Pajamas. Because why not? It's my day off. I'm just feeling really lazy today, and that's okay. And uh, yeah, so I've just been lounging in my pajamas all day. So now, come seven o'clock, what's the time? Hey Siri. <laughs> this camera. <laughs> I'm in the ghetto. Ah ah. Have no explanation. <sighs> Why am I like this? Why? Moving on. Yeah, let's move on. Let's, let's leave. Hey Siri. Uh, what's the time? It's eighteen thirty-five. It's eighteen thirty-five. I got to get to cadets for 7 o'clock and it is 6.30, it takes me 15 minutes from my house to walk over to cadets. So I've got like 15 minutes to get ready. Okay, I'm going to change my clothes, let's do a transition. Oh, Smart Civvies by the way is the squadron t-shirt and smart trousers, smart black trousers and black shoes. So I'm going to quickly change in 3, 2, 1. Yeah, so I'm changed. I'm gonna put some of the ears. This is the best one in my opinion. It's really good. non sparns Let's do hair. In terms of skincare, I've already done that already. Now the thing is with cadets, you are not allowed to wear, obviously, you're not allowed to wear, I'm gonna turn this over because I cannot hold myself. You can probably guess that you're not allowed to, um... Where's my mirror? Wow. Wow. I'm looking... Wow. Yeah, you can probably guess that you're not allowed to wear makeup when you go. Because obviously it's like the Royal Air Force condensed in a smaller version. So you've got to be smart, nice and everything like that. No makeup. Everything's really uniformed over there. That's over there, it's down the road. Lol. You're not allowed to um, wear any jewellery, earrings, necklaces, anything like that, ring. So in Air Cadets we have three types of uniform. For this it's not uniform but it is a type of uniform that we wear. It's not an established actual uniform. It's just what we wear when we're not wearing the other two actual uniforms. Which is what we call smart civvies. The other two uniforms are called Wedgwood Blues and Working Blues. I've done a Working Blue Get Ready Move Me already. That is so old. That is so old. But a lot of people liked it for some reason. I guess I'm just that girl. Like, I'm really good at what I do, even from like a young age. Like, uh, I will do an updated version because. <laughs> I don't know wear my uniform like that anymore. I mean, I wear it better than I did three years ago, I think. Wow. And I was corporal. I was. Uh, did you hear that past tense? Did you, did you hear that past tense? I said was. <laughs> that's right. Was. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <sighs> I got promoted. <laughs> I got promoted. I am now a sergeant. I got promoted. When did I? Like four weeks ago, I think, or was it three weeks ago, I got promoted to sergeant. Finally. Yeah, so I'm a sergeant at Air Cadets now, and I can actually, you know, be truthful when I say that to people. To be honest, I've been telling people I've, 
I was a sergeant at cadets before I was even a sergeant at cadets. You know, you know when you know the promotion is coming, you just accept it as if it's right now, it's happened already. You know, it's just like, you know, manifesting. And that's what I've done. So, technically, now when I tell people I'm a sergeant, it's true. It's true this time. It really is. <laughs> Yo. Tell me, is it looking better? Tell me. Tell me. Lo the comments from my last video, really lovely and grateful to everyone who gave me feedback on in the comments and in person. A lot of my friends commenting, well, they reached out to, a lot of people reached out to me and told me um, that they thought it was really good. Like, it's not just in my head anymore. People are telling me that I, I'm doing good. You know when you're doing good when people around you start to let you know that what you're doing is good and you should keep it up. Cause now I know it's not just in my head. It's not some fantasy thing I'm dreaming up thinking that I'm doing all this work and it's really paying off when it really isn't. My work is actually paying off and I'm really happy to see that happen. But <laughs> I got a lot of comments saying that why do I change my accent every time I'm speaking? All the time when I'm speaking. And it's like, I don't know, like it just happens like, I don't know. <laughs> Like, I really don't know, it just happens. Um, I like to be from everywhere in the world. Um, like, I don't, I don't know, love. It just happens. Uh, it's not that I don't like my accent, I like my accent. It's just, you know, spice it up a little bit, come on. Spice it up. And it's just really nice to hear all the nice comments. How long have I been at Cadet? Since I was 16. Now, if you live in the UK or you go to Cadets or you've you used to go to cadets, you will know that joining at 16 is quite a late age to be joining. Um, the reason why I joined at that age was one, I'd only just found out about cadets l l the last, like when I was that you, um, you had you, you, you could you 15. And when I wanted to go straight off the bat, my mum was really hesitant, so she held back for a whole year. And then, and I just kept persisting, persisting, persisting until she just finally gave up and let me go. And ever since I joined, I loved every single bit of it. It got to the point where I loved it so much. I still love it a lot. But I loved it so much that why wouldn't it go smooth, man? Well, I loved it so much where my mum would use it as um, a form of punishment. Like, if I didn't do what I was told, then I'm not going to do it. And that, you know, shattered me. Like, so I started to do what I was told. <laughs> I was a bad girl. Bad girl, tis I. Was. Was. Not really. I was a good girl. I just, I just hate doing washing up, to be honest. That's it. <laughs> the eyebrows need to be brushed. I need to wash my hair. But it's so long to do so because like, it's so long. It's so thick. It's so... You know? I'm ready to go right now. Did you do your hair? Is it? Let me see. He's done his hair, guys. Look, show your hair. You see your hair? Is your hair nice? Yeah, it's nice. Okay, get lost. Bye bye. He's cute, isn't he? But yeah, that was my get ready with me for cadets. If you want like more videos on um, UK air cadets, I can give them to you. I can dish it out. My gosh, I've gone parachuting. I've gone. Where have I gone? I've visited the bases, I've done flying, I flew the plane, it was crazy, uh, yeah, oh my god, it was crazy. If you're interested in joining the Air Cadets and you're young and you're like 14 and you want to join, or you're a bit older and you want to join, let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching my video again. It's been Dana Diaz. And please hit that notification bell and the subscribe button. Like this video if you liked it. And with that, bye friends. Because I gotta go. Oh my gosh. That is not the time. I'm late. Bye friends. guys welcome back to my channel <laughs> I need to flip it around again oh my god what's wrong with me I'm going to go to cadets and do cadetary things hi guys welcome back to my channel oh stop looking at yourself